Hey everybody, I'm Chris from Fox Socialist with Anthony Mundy, who's gonna fight Sugar Shit Mosley. Anthony, how you doing? I'm doing good, man, real good. All right, that's, so so when you got the call that that, that you're gonna fight Shane Mosley, what was going through your mind? Man, these are the fights that I want, you know what I mean? These are the fights that I want to be recognized, to get the exposure, and to let the, the American fans and you know boxing fans in general know that I'm cut, I'm cut out like that. And, and um, get the opportunity to fight a legend and, and to be the legend is, is an honor. Legend and future Hall of Famer. Yeah, exactly. All right, then, uh, why did you uh, decide to take the fight in Australia rather than, rather than taking the fight in the States with Shane Mosley? Well, I think the, you know, economically it's probably better um, you know, for, for, both, for both parties. Um, that's probably, that probably was the major, major role. Okay, uh, what have you learned from fighting uh, De Daniel Gill in a rematch that, that, that will help you get, get ready to fight Shane Mosley? Yeah, the Gill fight, um, I thought I still won the fight, a very close fight. Um, I didn't come in with no odds with the Ivan Tiger. I thought I come up from, I was fighting at 54, I come up from 54 to 60, um, you know, for the opportunity because nothing was happening. I was trying to get the big fights but nothing was happening so I come up from 54 to 60 to fight him. And I knew I was up against it anyway because you know uh, I had to knock him out to get a draw act, you know, because you know he was with the IBF, I've never dealt with them guys, I'm a WBA man. Um, so I knew I was up against it in that sense, but I thought um, if I would have brung the Iron Tiger and then the aggression, aggression that I should have should have brung on the night of the fight, I would have beat him and beat him, beat him, you know, convincingly. But I felt that uh, maybe he can't sell nothing. You can't sell nothing. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the biggest thing down in Australia. I'm the biggest thing. Period. You know, I'm the one that they gave boxing mouth to mouth in 2000 and brought it back to life, and I'm still keeping it alive now. And this is going to be, you know, another big, big show and big event you know, for the boxing fans, for you know, sports fans in general, uh, to get a, you know, such a name down in down Australia. So I, I, for the group, I had to do a lot, had to um, sell a lot, 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 lot for the fight. Maybe a bit, a bit too much focus was on that rather than well, like what was the main thing that was the fight. For this fight, I don't have to do that. I'm fighting a legend. And I'm not going to just focus on what I have to do, bring my A game. And I, I believe that's going to be too much. Okay. How's training uh, camp going for, for your fight against Shane Mosley? Um, you know, it's, it's going pretty good. You know, Every 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 training camp, you know, you gotta have a hiccup here or there, but that comes with the territory. You sort of get through it and um, you know, get your mind and body in the best shape as possible. I'm here, what we're eight weeks out. I'll probably fight, get on a fight tomorrow, back home, and uh, get it, going straight to camp and um, you know, prepare myself mentally, physically um, to get ready for for for, for a hell of a fight. Okay, uh, what is your message to your fans? My message is that, you know, we got the fight we wanted, we got a name that we wanted, and this is going to, you know, I want to set a precedent, I want to set, I want to show the fans, my fans, um, fans that don't know me, you know, fans abroad, that, you know, like I said, I'm cut out like this, and I, and I have the skills, the skills to pay the bills, basically, and, and beat one of the, you know, the legends of the sport, and, and, and hopefully I'll get another opportunity at another big, name after that. I just, want, I just want to roll them out. I want to fight the best at 54. I want to go for the number one who's the best pound for pound out there. That's Floyd. I know he's got about four or five fights left. So I want to be one of those fights. But I have to win.